Hey guys, still here and welcome back to more Taskmaster Tuesday. Today the challenge is to build your ideal campaign ship. Now, my ideal campaign ship currently is a hydrofoil because I get torpedoed all the time. Uh, a hovercraft, by the way, would also be a perfect option, but lacking that, the requirements are to have at least 10,000 km range, torpedo protection level 3 and a double hull, at least standard crew quarters, it must be inside of a budget of 120 million, and after you build the ship, you have a crew level of 50. So your ship is 120 million, and then you add crew. Now, I can pick from Britain, France, Italy, Australia... Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, Austria, Hungary, or Germany. Um, hmm. How about a bow tanking French warship? Just something dead slow with a huge gun for 120 million. Yeah, let's go. What could possibly go wrong? Now, I'm going to go for something fairly small ish. This is the Long Dock. And where do we start? We start with the guns. 18 inch guns are Mark II, 17 inch guns are Mark II, 16 inch Mark III. I could strike with 16 inch super heavy high end AP shells. That might work. So something like this. That should blow the enemy battleship out of the water pretty quick. Hmm. Okay, let's try that. Uh, I'm going to set the main and secondary tower as far back as possible. The reason for this is that I'm trying to get as much armor tacked on the bow. So I'm going to put that... Thank you. I'm going to put as much armor on the bow, which means I need to put as much weight on the stern as possible. Uh, I said this thing was going to be slow, and I'm not joking about that. 18 knots is far fast enough. 25 knots... It's going to cost you 9 million extra. Also, your dis displacement barely moves? What? 200 tons for three extra knots? Right. But if you want to go 45 knots... No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. Never mind. Um, where's the magical barrier? 23, 24, 25. When does the thing start to ramp up? 27. See, the thing is, I don't want to race towards the enemy. I really don't. Because that means that bow tanking is going to be far more difficult. Let's just go 25 knots. It's fine. Uh, crew standard quarters. Torpedo 3. Double, hull, double bottom hull. So that's the requirements. 10,000 kilometers at least. That's that done. Uh, this, as mentioned, I do after I design the ship. So that's after I figure out what I want to spend more stuff on. Now, all or nothing. Protecting the ship vitals, especially against plunging fire. That's the most likely range that I will be at. Anti-flood is useful. Barbette armor is useful. Bulkheads. Oh, God. Uh... Oh, right. Crip armor. Whoops. There goes my money. Lots of money as well. Reduce that to turbines. That's fine. Radar. Generation... No, maybe not generation 2 radar. That's really expensive. Stereo 5. <gasps> what? 116 million already. What is so... What is so expensive? I've barely upgraded anything. Good grief, man. Good grief. Can I boost the... No, I cannot boost the reload at all. Okay. Huh. This... At least gets me 100% engine efficiency, which I kind of don't need. 
I get 6,000 tons to add on guns and further armor. The only guns that I need are smaller guns to deal with the destroyers. Destroyer, actually, singular. I just put that here. There's, why are they facing backwards? What is that problem? Whatever. Um, I don't need a wide ship, actually. If I reduce the beam, that's going to save me some weight and a bunch of cash. It does make my base accuracy far lower. If I make it a wide boy, the ship gets too expensive. Oh, come on. You're going to be like that now? Five inch, secondary five, dual barrel, fine. Here, sit. Not necessarily ideal. Maintain standard draft. Maintain standard beam. There. Okay, reseat the secondary tower. Reseat these secondary guns. And 3,000 tons. How about reducing it both a little bit? There. Gives me 8,000 in cash. Sorry, 8 million in cash. Armor is not expensive. I'm not fast, so turning is not that important. Besides, is that expense? Yeah, that's expensive. Okay. Generation 1 radar, better damage control. Steering 345, I can live with that. Sonar? No! 5 million for a sonar array. Bye bye. Uh, 4 belts, all of it. I don't care. Four deck. Oh, maybe I do care because the belt, no, the pitch is going to be a problem. Fantastic. Okay, get those guns away. Push this forward. 12 inch fore belt, 8 inch aft belt. Pitch is feasible. I just need to get some sort of secondary guns on here to deal with a destroyer threat, which will inevitably materialize. Just that the real question is when. Because they'll be here. That's for sure. Okay. That's too expensive. What if I reduce this? This is going to give me more base accuracy, more gun aiming speed, just less long range gunnery. Hmm. I reload 88 seconds. Oh. Too expensive. Uh, fine. Just make the ship smaller. 1.4 weight offset. That's fine. 12 and a half inch four belt. See, deck armor? I don't even know how to balance that. That's problematic. Full auto loaders. 60 second reload. It's still not stellar, but I haven't added the crew yet. Uh, give me soft cap shells. Standard ratio. So that's 200 AP shells and 200 HE shells per gun. Per turret, rather. Okay. Superstructure armor, some of it, too expensive. There. Okay, so that's the ship. Unless I can do some very cheap modifications here and there, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't know what else to save cash on. Here we go. The four belts going to be critical. What if I put this at like nine and increase the four deck strength? Okay, deck armor is expensive. Deck armor is really expensive. Put a 5-5. Five, five. Go to 9 inch? No. Hmm. Hmm. 
This is very precise balancing. If I get hit on the aft deck, I am going to be in trouble. So just don't get hit on the stern. That's, <laughs> that's basically the long and short of it. Don't get hit on the stern. Displacement, fine. Speed, fine. Range, fine. I got anti-torp 3 as required. I got a double hull as required. Now I can add the crew. There. This is the long dock. Well, let's see if the long dock has what it takes. Why do I still have a, a displacement issue? Hmm. Belt, belt extended, armor weight higher. Deck, deck, yeah, this is more plunging fire. What if I change the plan? What if I change the plan? What if I go with a ship that's a bit faster? And that way I can have my bow armor be more useful. What if I go 30 knots? No, maybe not 30 knots. Your turbines, too expensive. 27 knots, 28? No. 27.5. Engine efficiency is not good enough. Now it is. Turning circle still 3, 4, 5. That's good. Okay. Well, more bow armor it is. The thing is, against plunging fire, I have less resistance now. It does make the armor weight for the belt and the belt extended go up a bit, but we'll just have to live with that. So that means that my main deck armor can be reduced, since I'm now more of a closer in brawler. You can boost the four weight belt, or the four belt, uh, reduce the main belt, and push the towers further back. That's going to be our balancing act. Oh, there goes my pitch. Fine. Boost aft deck armor. Four deck armor reduce. Five inch four, five inch aft, that's fine. Balance. Yeah, oh, hold on. Ship's too heavy. There. Oh, there. Okay. I like rounded numbers. Ah, oh, here. Okay. Done. Just fine tuning the rest of the displacement. 17 inches. Go. 12 inch main belt, 12 and a half inch fore belt, plus 112%. So we're looking at about 25 inches of fore belt. This thing is going to be very hard to pen. 20.9 inches of turret armor. Uh, that should keep these things alive, because that's effectively doubled. I just got to get there fast at 27 and a half knots. Once I get there, I slow down, and I just bow tank. Against the destroyer and the light cruiser, I got the four inch guns over there and over there, and I just really do not want to get flanked. Now I can set the regular crew, and now we can go. Okay. Let's see, is this the ideal campaign ship? Because that was the mission. I doubt it. Now, the objective is straightforward. Sink the enemy. That is one battleship, one battle cruiser, one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, one destroyer. The most structural integrity remaining wins. If none of us sink the enemy, then it goes on points for sinking the enemy's ships. So, um, that means that the enemy battleship is going to have to die first. It's going to have to die first regardless. We're going to turn towards the target at maximum speed and we'll just go bow tank, which is what the long dock does, because that is a lot of armor. Is the enemy over there? Yes. 29 clicks out. Please don't do any plunging fire on this ship, because it will not like it. What is that German ship armed with? 19 inch guns? Oh boy. 
Uh, my bow tanking plan might have a problem. Battle cruiser. Eight 14 inch guns, but they're all in the stern. You hit me? No, I hit you. Uh, okay, heavy cruiser. Nine 11 inch guns, torpedo launchers there, there. Battleship torpedo launchers. Not visibly. Doesn't mean it doesn't have any. You? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Uh, throw HE their face because anything else is not going to really work. Current ship speed, 27.5 knots out of 28. Good. I thought I said 27, but apparently that got rounded up. That's fine. Speed. 28 knots. Range. 24 clicks. Okay, buddy. We're going to do this, you and I. You with the 16-inch guns. I will try to get you into a decent position. What's your chance to pen me with that battleship? Ooh, 50-50. 50-50. I don't like 50-50. I want to worsen those odds. Based on what I'm seeing, this is because they get deck pen. It's going up. Why is it going up? I really don't want it to go up. Don't mind. 53, 54. Angle the bow. 54. Hold on, are you broadside yet? No, you're not broadside. Not at all. Okay. Slow down to half speed. We're in a pretty decent position here, 16 clicks out. I really don't want to close in too much more. Accuracy is almost 30%. Good. Just don't know if I can pen this thing. I can set fires on it. That's for sure. Okay, by now we can also see their light cruiser. Armed with torpedoes. And more and more torpedoes. Fun times ahead. And the destroyer. Torpedo launchers there. There and there. Yikes. That's a few more torpedoes than I was hoping for. Penetration. What? On the four belt? With a 16 inch high explosive shell? I'll take it. What's your chance to pen me now? 51 and dropping. Yes. We're getting into bow armor tanking uh, territory. We're not really getting any more deck pens. So I need to maintain the armor angle. And prepare to speed up. When I get the inclination that these guys are launching torpedoes at me. If. Also, how many fires do you have? Can I burn this thing down? Not that likely. Not that likely. Okay, these... Armor-piercing shells. Are they good enough? Destroy the secondary gun. Ah. Not bad. That's one of your eights or sevens? What is that? Eights. 24 8-inch guns. Holy shit. So you just got a heavy cruiser strapped to every side. Okay. Okay. All stop. Reverse ship. Reverse speed. We're just gonna park here. Yeah, this thing is still here, this bug. Okay. Um, there is a bug currently going around where if you hit this, reverse, it instantly stops the ship. Which is not really what it's supposed to do. Right? I mean, just I got locked into position right there. I don't mean to exploit this bug, I just actually wanted to slow down. But, in this case, it might actually come in handy. However, it means that I cannot reverse either. So, reversing away from my position slowly is not an option. Chance to pen me, less than 50% by now. Excellent. Humor me, hit the battlecruiser. Battlecruisers usually have far 
Sorry, this is the heavy cruiser. Hold. This is your battle cruiser. Oh, right, that was the 14 inch guy. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that. This guy. Maintain the battleship lock. Oh, overpen? Really? Don't expect it. Gunship speed? Yeah, we're still too fast. We're still doing 26 knots in their direction. I don't like that. You got torpedoes, right, heavy cruiser? Yes, you do. That makes you my new best enemy. Here's the problem with the bow and brawler. If you have too much speed, like I do, the only really thing that I've found you can do is just zigzag and hope that you burn off speed. But it's not a great strategy. There's a four inch ricochet. Not a great strategy. Also, I'm gonna get probably fairly quickly assaulted by all manner of torpedoes. Come on. Yes. That's more like it. Damage to the main tower, the ship's flooding. Kronprinz. 112,000 tons? Could you not? Good grief. That's a big ship. My ship is mostly invulnerable. Depending on the angle. Blow this thing up. It's going to torpedo me right about now. Put the secondaries on the V1. The V1 also torped me. Oh, Jesus. 19 inch right through the bow. There goes the largely invulnerable part. Oh, dear. And I really have to turn because the torpedoes are coming. I am not a fan current situation. Die. Well, work in progress. Slow down. Urgent. Okay, all the torpedoes are missing. I'm about to flank the Kronprinz. Which could be very beneficial. But I'm also gonna take a metric ton of damage from that guy. Okay, you're dead. Switch target. Fire armor piercing at the battleship. Uh, that's it? Go on. Go on. Turn. Just ignore everything else. Ignore the fact that there's a 14 inch battle cruiser slugging you from the side. Why did I have to get the 112,000 ton battleship? Tell me that. I don't like. Holy! The one with the torpedoes as well. Dick move. Ow, ow. Look at that. That is so much damage that they do. 500. I get a full pen on them. 190, sorry. I get a full pen on them. 60. Right? 60. This thing is going to be very dead very quick. Very, very, very dead. Kill it with fire. The one good thing, at this point, I'm behind them. And that means that those guns on the bow are not going to be doing anything at all. Can I pen their stern? No. Why? Your aft belt is three inches. Come on. It's not a really good armor belt. Ah, fuck this. <sighs> Every time I think I'm gonna try a bowing tanking ship, I just get this. Bowing tanking is not my strong suit. It's just not my playstyle. Even if I would want it to, it is not my playstyle. Okay. Unexpected outcome. Ammo detonation aboard the battleship. 
That means that I'm not out of the fight yet. I mean, it won't be long, but I'm not dead yet. This guy has 13-inch main belt. Hello. Okay. Are you going to torp me again? No, not yet. Folks, on the battle cruiser, that's the most points. Don't murder me, please. Oh, shit, I'm listening to starboard. I'm not sure I can even fire these guns anymore. I can. Oh, dear. This is a pretty bad situation. I'm not even hitting the battle cruiser at what? It's five kilometer range. Ship is still flooding. Full stop. Oh, that's better. Took a quarter off that ship apart. Need to keep doing that a few more times before we die. Yes! Now you're catching on. Right. Um, the battle was, or the task was, sink the enemy. The most structural integrity remaining wins. If none of us sink the enemy, then it goes on to the points for sinking enemy ships. So I definitely didn't get the part of most structural integrity remaining because I got zero. Uh, I did sink the battleship for five points and the heavy cruiser for three. So that's a mere eight points for me. Um, I'm not sure why the Germans decided to send me a ship that was three times my price and, well, about three times my weight as well. That thing is no fun. Good grief. Right. Well, I hope the other guys did better. You can find them linked down below. They are Spartan Elite and Brother Monroe. If you have a task for next week, then please let me know down below in the comments. Something reasonable or something unreasonable. I mean, it's Taskmaster. It doesn't have to be reasonable. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll see you soon for more videos.